Israel, if somebody will travel to Haifa, there's a Baha'i center in Israel. Baha'i is a very interesting religion. They have their own calendar. The 21st of March is the Baha'i uh, New Year's. So every, to create a religion, first of all, you must create a calendar. Uh, this is one thing now. We are now traveling up to Jerusalem. And we will see that the, green, the fields are very, very green at the moment. Now, most of what you see is wheat. But today we don't use this wheat for bread. There's a very, very big livestock in Israel for, wheat, for milk and meat. And most of the grain that we grow here, we give food for the livestock. It's more economical to import grain from abroad than to bring, uh, to bring food for the livestock. Uh, Haystacks from abroad. Now, if somebody is familiar with the Bible, we suffer here from droughts. Most of the running streams, streams of water are very, very small streams of water. We have got a river, like the Hudson River or the Nas River. So when it was a very, very hard drought, drought in this, this area, where did the Jews travel to? To Egypt. Egypt, the Nas River, these are vineyards. But you see on your left hand side, they traveled to Egypt because the Nile's River was a stable source of water. Now, when I speak about agriculture in Israel, we grow here, I said everything. Because there's such a visibility of climate, we got here in the northeast side of the Israel, the mountain, it's called Mount Hermon, it snows there. It, you could receive snow even in Jerusalem any, every, every few years. The height of Jerusalem is about 2,500 feet above sea level and we will travel to the Dead Sea we will be about 1,300 minus so we are traveling to the lowest part in the world today how low can you get to the Dead Sea from here I think it could only improve okay. uh, so uh, this is one thing and because so we could grow here cherries we could grow here uh, apples, uh, pears. We have uh, next to the Sea of Galilee, it's very, very hot and humid. So we grow mangoes, bananas, um, lychee, pineapples, pawpaws, all the tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, parsley, everything is grown here. We, because we are surrounded with less friendly uh, neighbors, we must support ourselves. We can't say, okay, somebody will send us food uh, from abroad. Or most of the food is manufactured here. You could find the, the water that you're drinking was brought from Italy. Because it was more economical to bring water from Italy than when using buying the, the local water, the mineral water. But most of the things that you see, we grow here. 